Hello again. Using the power of oxygen to heal. The Leon S. Peters Burn Center at Community Regional Medical Center has doubled its capacity for patients needing hyperbaric oxygen therapy services. The center is the first with board certified staff in HBO therapy in the valley. That's good news for critically wounded or outpatients. What we have here is the... Uh, Dr. Kent Yamaguchi and John Kampschmidt inspect the new hyperbaric oxygen chambers at Community Regional Medical Centers in Fresno. The expanded hyperbaric services at Community Regional means better patient care in the Central Valley. It would be nice to be able to treat uh, multiple patients simultaneously, and that's what this will allow us to do and also let us, in case we're treating somebody on an outpatient basis, if emergency were to come in, then we could continue with the outpatient treatment and also do the emergency patient at the same time. How's our flow rate doing? The chambers feature the latest in computer technology, which allows Community Regional's board-certified hyperbaric staff to have better control over the chamber's environment, making patients more comfortable. Uh, it's the equivalent of being under uh, pressure of 33 to 45 feet of seawater, and people who are divers know that that can cause uh, uh, barrel trauma or uh, sinus squeeze, as we call it, and that is just generally a stretching of the eardrum. Okay, let us know if you have any problems with your ears. And with this new chamber, this new technology, uh, it is designed so that it uh, nearly eliminates uh, that sinus squeeze and the discomfort uh, for uh, 9 out of 10 patients. Okay. Let me know if you need me. Right here. We're also able to control the environment, the temperature, and the flow of the oxygen uh, over the patient uh, much more precisely. We have a, a, a very high quality program here and we're uh, uh, looking at national certification and we see that within uh, the next couple of years to be a leader on, on the west coast with hyperbarics. Good morning, Sharon. Sharon Dahl is one of the many patients in the Central Valley to benefit from community's hyperbaric services. She needs extensive dental work, but radiation for cancer has weakened her jawbone. Her oral surgeon recommended doing hyperbaric therapy first to strengthen the area. They said it was very dangerous, not only because of the chance of infection, because of the radi radiation, it does lower your resistance, uh, but the jaw could die, which would require transplanting a piece from your hip, waiting for it to heal, and then proceeding. Today is Sharon's second to last treatment of the highly pressurized oxygen, which promotes healing in the body. There was a lot of pain in the jaw. There was already some, some bone loss there. And uh, after the treatment so far, uh, it feels just perfectly normal. The high oxygen level stimulates the blood vessels to grow into an area that previously had too few or maybe even uh, no uh, blood vessels. And the blood vessels are then carrying the oxygen and the protein in the cells that it will then be the basis for the healing of the wound. Dr. Yamaguchi says medical supervision is necessary for hyperbaric treatments and there also is a limit to how many treatments a patient should have in a lifetime. We will only use the treatments for those that have scientific evidence that there is going to be of some benefit. As one of the few patients to have experienced both the old chamber and the new, Sharon does notice a difference. The chambers are larger, offer more view, and are easier on the ears. What she says has not changed is the great care she always receives. 40% of our, our total staff is trained to do hyperbarics. We have currently four uh, critically uh, care trained nurses that, uh, and that's a high level expertise that is gained over uh, of, uh, many years of, of hyperbaric training. And so uh, we, there are probably only four uh, to five uh, critically care trained hyperbaric nurses in the whole Central Valley. And uh, that is a, a unique designation for us. Okay, all done. With her jaw now healing, Sharon says it makes every hour spent in the chamber worth it. That's great to hear, Sharon. We wish you the best of luck. For more information on community's hyperbaric oxygen therapy, go online to our website at medwatchtoday.com.